alarms on phones are great if you pay attention to them. I routinely have mine set and uh, just blow it off, so I miss a lot of things. I appreciate everybody coming, and it, yeah, it's hot. It's just flat hot. It's nasty outside, and nobody even wants to be there. Hello, Sharon, and all of us are complaining, and Sharon is like, what, 106 tonight? Some crazy amount of, uh, amount of temperature. It's just insane. So let's talk about flowers. Flowers are fun, and my flowers are even blooming in the heat. They just won't give up, which is awesome because my bees and my butterflies and my little yellow golden finchy finches are really enjoying them. So I brought some of those inside today to have on a card. I actually have some that are white and yellow like this. So this uses the Cheerful Daisies bundle and the really gorgeous, I don't know about you, but I've got several packs in my drawer of the Fresh as a Daisy DSP because it's gorgeous. Um, so that's really all I've used here. I just needed this one bundle for this and we've got some heat embossed sentiment on the front and then just a yellow lemon lolly, to be quite accurate. Um, lemon lolly flower on the inside. So all of this will be on my blog tomorrow. Uh, let's get going and see what we can make. You'll be glad to know I've done some die cutting ahead because there is a little bit of that on this card, but not, not too terribly awful. All right, so how many of you love copper clay? I, I think it is, I really, really love copper clay. I wish it was in one of the core color groups instead of an in color, but I'm certainly going to enjoy it for a couple of years. I really, really love it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere a piece of the Fresh as a Daisy DSP using the liquid glue that appears to have disappeared. There it is. There we go. Did I just reach across and you got to see my big old fat arm? Probably. All right, we're going to use some liquid glue to adhere this piece to a pretty peacock mat. I really love that. You know, the thing that I like about this paper, other than the fact that it's just gorgeous, is that it helps me to put some colors together that I might not. Like, I might not have come up with pretty peacock on my own with copper clay. I just, I just might not have done that. I'm not sure that I am quite that creative. Okay, all right, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and do our sentiment. I have a small piece of just the copper clay. You can see what was on the other side. It almost kind of hurt me to do that, but I did it because that's how I roll. And I'm going to take my embossing buddy and give it just a swipe because especially when you're doing um, sentiments, when you're embossing sentiments, you really want to get a nice clean nice clean image and so your embossing buddy will be your friend okay here we go now i'm going to use this is the your friendship means everything and i'm gonna tap 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 just to be sure i have a really good image and i'm basically really not only basically but completely putting this sentiment right smack double in the middle of that small panel and then I'm going to close my Versamark. Just trust me to close your Versamark before you get your embossing powder out because a Versamark pad covered with embossing powder is not a good thing, okay? So I'm just going to spew some of that over. It's just white embossing powder. This is from the Basics Embossing Powder set. Give it a little bit of a blow and a little bit of a tap. Be sure I've got most of the, um, any extras I've gotten rid of. Goodness, Mary, there it is. Thank you, Kathy Fennell, for giving me a, <laughs> a tweezer charm so that I have half a shot of finding my tweezers when I've lost it in my, oh, Melly, you're in Italy? Mm, I have got a bee in my bonnet about Italy these days. I am looking at real estate sites and all sorts of stuff, which is crazy because I'm not sure I have the the nerve to try to move to Italy, but my goodness. Where in Italy are you, Melly? Could you tell me? I'm gonna go, it's gonna get loud, so we're just gonna use the heat tool on high. You don't need to do all that with it, just hold it until it starts to change. It's the magic of embossing. There we go. You're going to know that everything is embossed when it turns from kind of dull to, you know, shiny, like that. And then go ahead and turn off your heat tool. 
I like to do it kind of without moving, especially if I'm not holding it down. Now, just as a tip, this embossing powder, while it's still hot, will smear. So give it a hot second before you get too jiggy with it, okay? Just a second. Hey, Carol, appreciate you coming. Okay. Now, I think that's dry. Yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, goodness. I, I have been once, and it was with Lance, and I'm not, I'm, yeah, I would be a fish out of water, but um, I, it's, I gotta be in my bonnet. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kid you. Okay, so we're just adhering that to its own pretty peacock mat with some liquid glue. Got a little busy with it there. You don't need a lot of liquid glue, so don't be like me and put too much of a glob on one end. And then give it a little bit of a rub. Okay, and now I'm going to adhere this right in the middle of my card front with more liquid glue. All right, there we go. And we're just, we're truly centering it right there. All right, now this can set aside for a minute while we play with some die cutting. Well, okay, we've already die cut it. We've already die cut everything. So let's start. I have the um, basic white and I use the large die. You get all three, all three flowers and the leaves when you die cut. And you wanna punch out all the little pieces, which I, I had every intention of doing before you guys got here, and then I didn't. So I'm sorry, my bad. And you can leave them in and let them kind of fall out and then just be partially in and partially out. It's up to you. I like to push them out just because, I don't know, I just, I don't know. I just like them to be out, okay? Everybody's got a thing, and that's mine. Okay, so let's get them out of this next one. This one fell out a little bit better. All right, dun, dun, dun. This is like watching cement dry, but that is how we do it. Okay, so let me brush those aside. Now, oh, I'm sorry this is challenging, Karen. I love this set. I, I really, really love the paper. All right, now, I want my leaves to be a different color, and I want them in a different spot than they are on the die cut. So I'm gonna just use my snips and snip them right off, saving them, because I am going to use them. All right. Now, we're going to color these little leafies. We're going to color these here, little leafies. So my plan when I started this card was to put a couple of drops of um, Pretty Peacock re on an acrylic block. And I reached for my re and I have a giant hole there. So since the catalog came out, I've been meaning to purchase a Pretty Peacock re and I have no idea why I didn't on my first pre-order or my second pre-order or my main catalog order or any of the orders I've placed since then, but I did not. So I had to get creative. So what I'm going to do here... Oh, yes. Karen, what you should probably try to do is one time get it lined up and remember the trick about putting a... Um, a little dot with a, um, a Sharpie on your die and on your stamp. That way you'll know where up is. And once you know where up is, it's pretty easy to get it lined up. Okay, so here I am punting. So what I did is I took the brush end of my Pretty Peacock Stampin' Write marker and I colored all over an acrylic block. And then I took a water painter and I'm just gonna dribble some water on there, like that. And then I'm gonna paint these Pretty Peacock. Cause I wanted Pretty Peacock, but I didn't wanna cut out a whole nother, a whole nother piece. And I wanted it kind of watercolory, a little bit lighter with some, you know, variation in it. So this is a way to do that. now. I have a lot, I actually have more water than I really wanted. So be a little more judicious than I was because when you are using just regular white cardstock, 
you don't want to soak it, okay? You really don't. So you know what? I'm going to just fix my error here. Let's just fix the error, Mary. Instead of keeping on with it, like you can't just fix it and do it right, let's try that again, shall we? This will be better. Just a little bit of water and more color. And I'm, I'm not trying, I'm almost deliberately not trying to get it homogenous. I want it to be, um, you know, streaky, a little streaky, a little more organic looking. We'll set that one aside to dry and then we'll do the second one like so. Yeah, now this technique does not work with Stampin' Blends, so you do need the markers. You know, I've told everybody, I think you should always have the markers, the refills, the ink, and the cardstock all in the same exact color so that you can coordinate things pretty perfectly. I mean, it's, it's pretty perfect how you can do it if you have all of those things. I mean, yes, granted, I did just break my own rule, but there you go. All right, so those are colored. And we're going to let those set for just a second. Wipe this off. All righty, there we go. Hey, Karen, appreciate you coming. All right, now, I have, like I said, I've done some die cutting. And part of what I die cutted, die cut, die cut I, die cut it, it did, is two of the solid leaves that would be this die in the Cheerful Daisy set. And I cut them from another piece of the Fresh as a Daisy DSP. You can see on the back what that looks like. So, oh, I probably need two more of those. I did not do a good job. I need four. You need four of these, okay? Four. So hang on a second. I'm going to cut two more. In case you're interested, this is the paper that it's from. All right. So I'm just going to cut two more because each of those little things has four, two leaves. I have two of them, and that's four. No matter how fuzzy your math is, it's still four leaves. You can't get much, much more straightforward math than that. I think there was actually a schoolhouse rock about multiplication tables, Mary. And that two by two was really one of the easier ones. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get my darn chair to roll back up. Well, Karen, you just need to relax a little bit because um, it isn't that critical. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold my little die cut leafy, but I do get it. I, I throw away a lot of stuff. There is no doubt. When it isn't as perfect as I think it should be, then I throw things away. I go through envelopes like crazy because I screw up and I'll smudge something. And even though my brain says, okay, you could put the return address there. My other brain says, nope, no, you cannot. You must fix it. You must get a new envelope. So now I'm just going to adhere those. So you can see we have pretty peacock and then not balmy blue. That is some other blue. But you know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Maybe I've still got some color on my... I didn't get that little spot right there. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do the same with the other die. Cut. The other die cut. And whoop. you don't need nearly as much glue as I just put on there. Now, you're probably saying, gosh, I wonder why she doesn't use those adhesive sheets. Okay, two reasons. First of all, I always forget. Yeah, there it is, Karen. Azure afternoon. You are correct. Azure afternoon. All right. Why don't I use adhesive sheets? Okay, one, because I never remember. And two, when I'm doing things like this, I like the, the wiggle squiggle time that I get with the liquid glue. You get no wiggle time with the adhesive sheets, okay? It's once you, when you put it down, you're there. And I like to be able to make sure everything is lined up like I want it. Okay. So I'm willing to take the time to be, to get the liquid glue where I need it. Okay. There we go. So those are prepared. Those are ready. Now we're going to do a little work on our flowers. I've got two of these big die cuts and from Lemon Lolly, I used 
There are three detailed flower cut, die cuts, dies, dies. One, two, and three, okay? So I cut two of each of those from Lemon Lolly, which makes sense if you think about it because I have two die cuts with those flowers, right? Okay, so let's put this back before I lose something. I never, ever, ever lose dies. <laughs> I wish. Okay, now, before we get going, I'm gonna take my dark, I'm going to take my dark, yep, Yes, Dark Lemon Lolly Stampin' Blend. And I'm gonna color the centers of these white flowers. And if you're not real sure how far out to go, here's my tip. Color the middles just around the edges of the, the little uh, holes, and then just put your die cut on. Now, this die cut, this is your register petal if you will. Okay, it's the only single standing by itself large petal. There's a little one and a big one. If you find the big one on this die cut, you are lined up. Okay, so I know that's how it's going to go and I feel pretty happy with how I colored that center. This one, your register is um, this little, for me, I always look for either that two prong petal or the three prong petal right there. Okay, so whichever one is more stand outy to you, that's the one you should use. And I'm happy with that. And I'm happy with that. So that one is ready to adhere and we'll do the same with the second die cut. Hey, Loanne from Minneapolis. Thank you for joining, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you watching the replays, but I'm glad you were able to join us live, yay. All right, so again, this is the Dark Lemon Lolly Stampin' Blend. It's kind of interesting. You can get a different tone, shade, darkness, lightness of Lemon Lolly whether you, based on whether you use the Light Dark Blends, the Stampin' Right Marker, or the Ink Pad, or a refill. You can get all sorts of different um, darknesses and shades with that. All right, okay, so let's go ahead and adhere this. And we're going to just use a little bit of liquid glue and put these in place. I love this one because it's easy. There's really no doubt where that goes, right? I mean, that's easy. Easy and also peasy. Here we go, a little bit of liquid glue on this one. And you don't need much, a little bit goes a long way. And there's my single there's my, oh, there's my single. I'm looking right at it and putting it in the wrong place. <laughs> Goofy girl. There we go. And then we'll finish up with this one. You, the good news is, is really all we're gonna be doing now is adhering and that's pretty darn easy. It won't take very long at all. And let's see, what have I got here? Where's my three banger? Here's my three. And there's my three. There we go. There. Again, the liquid glue lets you have a little bit of wiggle time so you can get everything exactly where you want it. So we spent a little time out in the garden this morning. We, we planted 12 lettuce plants um, in the Kratky jugs, bins, if you will. And I am very excited about that that technique and so i'm we're going to keep the lettuce under lights inside for their whole life so i'm really hoping i lost a lot of lettuce last year to bugs because i'm really really picky about using any i don't like to use pesticides even the organic ones because a lot of them even though they don't say they're harmful to bees are harmful to bees and i will pretty much give my garden to the pests that before I hurt the bees, I just can't do it because they're too cool and they do too much for us. So I'm hoping that by keeping the lettuce, which does not need a pollinator in the, um, we're actually, we have it in the well house. The well house is insulated. So it's not too hot, not too cold. 
One might even say, like Goldilocks, it is just right. So we're gonna keep them in there. And then we also started some more peppers. Oop, oop, there we go. Got them started. They are gonna go into the garden. Although I'm hoping we can come up with another crack key tub and see how that works. Okay, so we have everything ready. Now it's time to adhere. So we're gonna put some dimensionals on here. You knew I'd get some dimensionals somewhere. Let's kind of figure out where everything is gonna go. This is gonna go there. And then this one is gonna go here. All right, like that. So we're just gonna put some dimensionals and here's another spot where your half dimensionals really, really help because it's a lot easier to get them hidden by the, and yes, yes, I know y'all are typing furiously to say, why aren't you just using minis? I just don't like them. I'm sorry. They make my fingers hurt just looking at them and I'm, I'm fat fingered anyway and so it's, it's just hard. It's hard, I don't like them. Uh, I love my half dimensionals is what I love. Okay, and then we'll put one right there. Okay, so let's sit here him. And we're gonna put him down in the bottom corner. I'm sorry, Julie. <laughs> you thought we were using inked botanicals, I think I remember seeing. Yep, nope, not this time. I do love that paper though. All right. I, You know, the Inked Botanicals was a bit of a surprise for me because when I first saw it in the catalog, I was not impressed. But upon further reflection, I realized I needed to be impressed. Now let me be sure I'm not doing something silly here. Okay, no, I can get that tucked under there like so. Let me pick that up just a little bit. I'm gonna keep it picked up and adhere this with some liquid glue. Thank you, Diane. Oh, yeah, 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 Season of Chic. That's right, that's what you thought it was gonna be. Right, nope, nope, nope. It would be some daisies, daisy. Give me your answer, do. And then we'll put one of our little flowers, leafies, a little leafy. A leafy, and we're gonna put him like right there, there we go. And we can stick those dimensionals down. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same up here. Let's go ahead and uh, help ourselves out here. You can do this however you like. Um, either do these first or do your flowers first. Totally up to you, whichever is easier for you. Oop, come here, come here now. Now don't be that way. Don't be that way. There we go. And now we'll dimensionalize these flowers. Yeah, that's right, I don't bring you flowers anymore. That's true, that is a, an accurate statement. But I'm having a lot of fun picking flowers out of my garden. I leave plenty for all the bugs because they're happy with them. We got all the butterflies back again this year. Okay, here we go. And those goldfinches are new. So I'm very, I am really excited to have the goldfinches. I'm actually kind of unreasonably excited to have the gold, the goldfinches, not fishes. That would be weird. Wouldn't that be weird to have goldfish in your garden? That would just be weird. I mean, unless you had a water fountain and needed it. Just saying. All right, pick these off and stick this down. Uh oh, what little die? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Put him on my magnet. Yeah, he would go missing. I would look at him and be like, oh, he's right there. And then two seconds later, I'd look, he would be gone. Gone. On. Thank you, Judy. And then we're going to put this right like that. Okay, there we go. Now, I've got some of these beautiful adhesive-backed sparkle gems, and I'm gonna put some of these um, goldy ones. Not goldy Han, not goldy locks, just goldy. 
I think they go so pretty with the copper clay. And there is our card front. What do you think? Pretty? I kind of love it. I, I really do. I shouldn't say that about my own things, but I do love it. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's a little self-aggrandizing, isn't it? And don't forget the hummingbird. That's right. The hummers do actually love the plants almost as much as they love my feeder, and I don't want to do anything to hurt them either. That is for sure, for sure. All right, now I've got my lemon lolly pad out, and I am going to stamp down in the corner with lemon lolly. And let's see, somewhere here, here we go. Here's our center. Gonna stamp him like that. And then I'm gonna stamp the outline. And this is another case where I probably would have been, made myself much happier if I had uh, checked to see where everything was. Here we go, let's see what we can find here. I, I seem like I should be able to find those two right there right quick. Oh, maybe there we go. That could be it right there like that. Yep, that's it, okay. And then we'll just line that up best as we can and give it like that. And then I thought it was kind of fun. Oh, how cool. That is very cool. Oh, Lorraine, I'm glad you liked it. And hello, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. So I have my Balmy Blue uh, Stampin' Right marker and I'm using the bullet in and I'm just gonna add some dots around my daisy. If you don't love the, how this looks, don't do it. But I kind of like it. And so there, that's how that rolls. That's how I roll with that one is if I like it, I do it. Okay, I'm gonna put one right here. There we go. Okay, and then set this aside. And if I was smart, I would have done my um, envelope flap at the same, or my envelope at the same time, but I'm not going to, so there you go. Uh, let's see, liquid glue, here we go. And I'm going to adhere this to a pretty peacock mat. Pretty peacock, pretty peacock, I am so glad you're back. I hope you stay around for a really long time. Pretty Peacock is one of those ones that was an in color and now it's back. And so that gives me hope. Stamp it up. We want Copper Clay to come back. Copper Clay needs to come back. And we're using a balmy blue card base. Like a shoe. And you probably can't see it. You can't really tell in the video, but my dimensions are an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around on this card. I went a little bigger because I wanted more DSP on the front. Because that's how I was rolling with this, is I wanted more DSP on the front. And we're gonna do some dimensionals to pop our card front on. Half a dimensionals. Yes, copper clay is absolutely available now. I just want it to stay available forever instead of leaving in two years. Yes, you absolutely can get it and pecan pie and moody mauve and pebbled path and boho blue. Boho blue, right? Yep, boho blue. Okay, let me be sure I'm putting this on right side up upside right but can you see when you have a bigger card front it's a little persnicketier getting everything lined up on the card front but it is doable and there we go and let's go ahead and do our i know copper clay is the best do our envelope look at that i have just got dimensional covers everywhere here we go and we're gonna put this down in the corner and we'll put our middle in there. And then we're gonna put our outline in there. Okay. And then those little balmy blue dots, which to me are up to you. I like them. I think they're cheery. 
don't you? Okay. And then we'll put a little bit more of the DSP on the envelope flap. Oh, and Rosie, you are right. Customers who order over fifty dollars and my team members are welcome to my join my my join the craft room, my Zoom the craft room on Mondays and Thursdays. And I would love to have you. We have a good time. We do not do we do not have a class. We don't have a card that we make. There's nothing like that. It's just we sit and we craft as if we were in the same room together. And that is how we do, and we have a good time. I mean, I think we do. I think we do. Sometimes we craft, sometimes we just sit and chat. A lot of times we solve some world problems, but mostly we just yak and craft. All do our own thing and we all get a card done or a couple of cards done as the case is, and it's fun. All right, so there you go, cheerful daisies. One of my very favorite sweets in the annual catalog, and I hope it is one of yours as well. Don't forget bonus days, bonus days, bonus days, bonus days, bonus days. Um, if you order the bundle, the Cheerful Daisies bundle, I believe it's over $50. Let me look for you, because that's the kind of person I am. If it's not, all you got to do is add a pack of paper and you'll be ready to go, baby. Baby, baby, it's $53. So buy the Cheerful Daisies bundle, and you're going to get a bonus days coupon. Don't forget your paper and some sparkle adhesive. Back, sparkle, back, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. The sequins, okay? All right, guys. Hey, I appreciate it, and I appreciate you spending part of your weekend with me very much. Y'all stay cool. Stay safe. There's some bizarre weather going around these days, and I hope I'll see you back here on Thursday or on my Zoom and Craft Room on Monday. Thanks, guys. Ta.